Buffy Spring Vacation. Fluffy the Brave. Who will take Fluffy home for spring vacation? Asked Miss Day. I will, said Emma. But you have a cat, Emma, said Miss Daisy. And Miss Day, Fluffy would be afraid of the cat. Wrong, thought Fluffy. I'm not afraid of anything. I have two cats, said Emma, and a dog, but they're old, and they do it sleep. They won't hurt Fluffy. So Fluffy went home with Emma. The brown cat is Jack, Emma told Fluffy. The orange one is Jill. Nice kitties, thought Fluffy. This is Skippy, Emma said. Woof, woof, thought Fluffy. That night, Emma and Fluffy had a tea party. Then Fluffy went to sleep under the straw. In the middle of the night, Fluffy heard a noise. He opened his eyes. Four big yellow eyes were looking at him. Yikes, thought Fluffy. I'm having a bad dream. But it wasn't a dream. It was Jack and Jill. Don't mess with me, cats, said Fluffy. Jack patted the door on Fluffy's cage with his paw. The door opened. You're asking for trouble, said Fluffy. Jack poked her paw into the cage and pulled Fluffy out of the door. You'll be sorry, said Fluffy. Jill picked Fluffy up and carried him into the living room. She put him down on the floor. I have sharp teeth, Fluffy told Jack. Jack showed Fluffy his sharp teeth. I have sharp claws, Fluffy told Jill. Jill stuck out with stuck out her sharp claws. Okay, cats, said Fluffy. Look out. Fluffy ran in Jill. He jumped at Jack. He ran and jumped and growled. Fluffy did not see Skippy come up behind him, but Jack and Jill did. No always get very big as they ran away. I'll tell you not to mess with me, cats. Fluffy called after them. And Fluffy turned around. He saw Skippy. Don't be afraid, Skippy, said Fluffy. I'm scared of cats away. Fluffy did not know how to get back in his cage. So he followed Skippy to his bed. Fluffy lay down beside a dog. Wake me up if the cats come back, Fluffy told Skippy. I will take care of them. Then Fluffy the Brave fell asleep. Fluffy the Explorer. I'm going to get a haircut, Emma told Fluffy. Dad said you can come too. Why, said Fluffy, my hair is just right. Emma put Fluffy in a shoebox and off they went. They walk into Sandy's haircuts. Will you watch Fluffy? Emma asked. Sure, said her dad. Emma went to get her hair washed. Her dad sat down. He put the shoebox on a chair. Then he started reading. Fluffy sat up. He looked in the mirror. He saw so many guinea pigs. Fluffy climbed out of the box. Follow me, pigs, said Fluffy the Explorer. We will go where no pigs had gone before. Fluffy saw a mountain. He started climbing. He went up and up, but the mountain started shaking. Earthquake! called Fluffy the Explorer. Hold on, pigs! Carefully closed Fluffy into the dark. We must get out of this cave, said Fluffy the Explorer. Follow me, pigs! Fluffy jump out of the cave. Just in time, too, the ice is slick, said Fluffy the Explorer. Watch out, pigs! Fluffy led away over the ice. What's this? thought Fluffy the Explorer. It was a big silver thing. Inside it was a monster. The monster had stored a roar. Jump, pigs, cried Fluffy the Explorer. Fluff jump, Fluffy jumped down. <sighs> but the monster was afraid after him. Run, pigs, cried Fluffy the Explorer. Run for your lives. Fluffy ran under the big rock. Emma showed her dad her short hair. Then she picked up the shoebox. Dad, she cried. Fluffy's gone. Why, said her dad. Emma dropped the shoebox. Fluffy, she called. Where are you? Here, Fluffy. Call Emma's dad. Fluffy saw the monster in the He saw the shoebox on the floor. Follow me, pigs, said Fluffy the Explorer. He ran out of the under the rock and jumped into the box. We did it, 
said Fluffy the Explorer. Good work, pigs. Mama came back and sat down and she looked at Box. Fluffy, she cried, where have you been? It's a long story, thought Fluffy the Explorer. Fluffy shows up. Good night, Fluffy, said Emma. Tomorrow we'll be going back to school. Fluffy went to sleep by the middle of the night. I was woke up. Jack and Jill were back. Not again, thought Fluffy. Jack opened Fluffy's cage. Jill got Fluffy out. By this time, Fluffy took it out. Fluffy ran out of Emma's room. Go after him. Fluffy raced out of her hallway. Jack and Jill raced after him. Fluffy zoomed around the corner. He heard a cat behind him. Fluffy saw a bag by the front door. It was open at the top. Fluffy ran and jumped into the bag. He peeked out. He saw the cats run by. Hehe, <laughs> thought Fluffy. Then Fluffy found a soft place inside the bag and fell asleep. The next morning, Emma cried, Fluffy's gone. Not again, said Emma's dad. There was a big meeting this morning, said Emma's mom. I had to catch a plane. Go on, Emma's dad. Go on, said Emma's dad. Emma and I will find Fluffy. Emma's mom kissed Emily goodbye. E Emma, goodbye. Don't worry, she said. Fluffy will show up. He always does. Then she picked up her briefcase and ran out the door. Emma said you will be in school. What will I say about Fluffy, Emma asked him? Say that Fluffy will show up, said her. Her dad, he always does. At the airport, Emma's mom waited in line, then she put the purse in a briefcase next to the machine. She walked through the gate. Stop, a girl told her. You can't bring an animal on a plane. An animal? said Emma's mom. What do you mean? The girl told Emma's mom next. Right, the x ray show Fluffy. Emma took Fluffy out of her briefcase. What are you doing here? she asked. Beats me, thought Fluffy. So what's for breakfast? I'll be back, Emma's mom told the guards who ran outside. She waved and got on a taxi. Driver, she said, this is Fluffy. And she told him what happened. Leave Fluffy to me, Drive driver said. At school, Emma said, Miss Day, I have something to tell you, class. Okay, said Miss Day. And Emma will walk in the front of the room. Uh, he said, this is about Fluffy. Fluffy, like riding to the t in a taxi. Faster driver, he thought. But Fluffy was not in his cage, Emma was saying. Look, on way to taxi. Well, I get to look at the window as the taxi pulled out of front of school. The taxi driver came into Miss Day's room. Here's Fluffy, he said. I hope he's not late for school. Fluffy, said Emma. He did show up. I always do, thought Fluffy. The end.